It's the inescapable issue. We're all aware of climate change and the rapidly altering environment in which we live, work and enjoy. It's claimed that as a nation, the Falklands produces more carbon dioxide per person than Saudi Arabia. And with our key industries, such as farming, fishing and tourism, all relying on the natural environment, it's not something that can be pushed to one side. We feel it's really important um, from everyone who speaks to us, our members um, and the wider community, um, about what is going to be happening over the next four years um, to support nature and the environment. Um, and those challenges need to be taken really seriously and, and that's the message we're getting from a lot of people and so it's looking at how you know, that, that green vote's going to happen. Falklands Conservation have released a manifesto to encourage candidates in this upcoming election to think about the green vote, how they can commit to supporting the environment. The headline environment strategy was released towards the end of the previous assembly and commitments have been made in the 2018 to 2021 Islands Plan on issues relating to the environment. The last four years um, there has been there has been interest um, from, from candidates and recognition that more needs to be done but um, unfortunately the commitments for the natural environment have been partially fulfilled um, so there's a lot that needs to happen and urgently due to the challenges we're facing. The manifesto looks at issues including restoring native habitats, adopting a green economy, biosecurity, the marine environment and combating the climate crisis drawing on issues that have already been raised at Farmers Week, which include water shortages and land drying up. These are problems that show the real-time impact of climate change on the Falklands. I think there are some exciting things that can be done with such a small number of people here, you can, and, and there's such an, an interest from um, voters and non-voters um, about what could be done for the environment. and. I think that candidates should feel confident that you know, putting investment and time into, into nature and the environment is going to be worth it um, and that they'll be, you know, it's a, it's a good vote to have and, and there's a lot of interest there. And it's something that needs to happen really rapidly. It's an urgent need.